Hello everyone and this video is going to be probably none of you are going to care but I'm going to show you how I do my makeup. Here we go. So if your face is not oily you can just cleanse it in the morning with something like that like a toner. This one is a, like a cleansing toner. That's the one that I use and normally evening time I would wash it off but this is this has worked for me all the time. It's so that one that I use. And then I prep the skin with the primer. Uh, not primer. I can't do these videos very well. This is not primer. This is serum. Yeah, so I applied that on my face. And then I went, I went and used the primer. This one is one of my favorites. I have to be like one of those ladies that does this. <laughs> and it still doesn't work. It actually works farther or better. Yeah. So this one, this one is the Catrice Primer, which I actually used it for a while, and I got the new bottle. It just preps your skin for a foundation, um, priming, hydrating, anti-wrinkle, natural glow, anti-pollution, anti-oxidation, pore minimizing, evens out skin tone, blurs, imperfections, UV protection, SPF 15 for guys and girls. You can use it. Anybody can use it. So we have put the primer on the face, <laughs> the one that I showed you. And the next step that I always do is foundation. Now, foundation is the step that I do next, which probably a lot are familiar with this. This is so glorious. This one. It's just a foundation brush. <laughs> and I got this not long ago. It's actually Catrice. It's actually one of the new Catrice that I've seen. And for my skin tone, I need the yellowy tones. I am a yellowy kind of type of gal. <laughs> I don't pink undertone, like a pinkish tones, undertones, whatever, don't work on my skin. I have to have like a yellowish. As you can see, the skin has the yellowy tone. Plus, I apply light self tan. It's a cream self tan dove. You probably know about it. It's a gradual tan, so it kind of just kind of adds a bit of a more yellowy tone. I kind of like yellowy tones. And so this one is True Skin Hydrating Foundation Hyalur Hyaluronic Acid Long Wear. This one. I got it actually in the shade. Lucky I actually got it because they sold out really quickly. This one is Warm Vanilla 15. If, if you do come across this video and you're interested, this is why I am telling you so let's go now with this pump i have to tell you something shake it shake it shake it like you mean it and when you pump it lead the pump a little bit see i don't know if you catch that but it still squirts out a bit so i'm gonna be using my little mirror that i have for decades as you can see how wear and tear it is now so like this pretty much see how yellow it is yellowy tone and I just go under eye I also go on my eyelid you know as you can probably kind of see that sometimes on your eye you have veins and you want to just even out your skin tone and just nothing fancy just kind of go along and apply the foundation and then do the same with the other side. Like this. Under your eyeball. <laughs> and just go ahead. And just go ahead everywhere on your face. You know how normally people do foundations. So I'm not too much on expensive kind of makeups. I, I like makeup in general, but I'm very low key with it. I'm not using so much of different stuff kind of like i recently got the heat oh not heat protectant i'm so bad at this um makeup setting spray this one a lot of you will know it's actually travel size believe it or not i was surprised it's actually quite big how many mils it has six mil it can't be six mil it says six six mil seriously maybe Maybe so. But yeah, this one is good. And it's also what it helps with. It helps to set your makeup with, um, how to even say it, 
basically if it gets too warm it kind of like it has this cooling system so you know when it's so warm i say like summertime yeah or even springtime it's like warm you know pew, pew, pew. and then it kind of like it has cooling system doesn't let your makeup to melt and it is good i won't say like get it but it's good i mean it does have alcohol though i think in it so you want to be very if your alcohol doesn't go well with your skin let me see somebody said on youtube channel and i love it has well it says flammable so yeah but if you're not too sensitive to alcohol then you should be doing just okay okay don't put that on your lips <laughs> okay so we kind of fixed it up here a bit you know there i go again so i forgot about my other eyelid actually i wanted to tell you something where is it where did i put it this one i want to tell i don't know if i told you in a video what's in my bag did i mention this product i don't remember it's a lip injection extreme Too faced actually i tell you what it actually really works let me actually do it now actually actually i always say actually anyways if you've seen this product you probably know what it is so let me show you so these are my small lips they're kind of uneven you know i usually just kind of moisturize and stuff like that so this is let me just apply it need to remove foundation and i will apply it and i will show you it's going to get kind of pinkier and plumpier it moisturizes lips as well so it's good i don't usually apply it too much it is kind of evenly evenly kind of lay out on a whole lip there you go. just distribute the rest of the product you have on your applicator now just don't be staring on my lips this entire video now but as we go along now with makeup application you will notice that they are getting like small bit plumpier and as you can see already the color is enhanced it's more it brings blood flow kind of to your lips and as you can see now already already it's changing you see it's kind of like pinkish my lips so after a while they get a little bit more redder now it doesn't hurt at all it's actually really cool moisturizing stuff as well but it also pl plumps up small bit so it's really really cool just keep on watching keep on watching. don't keep staring now <laughs> don't keep staring on my lips okay so this one actually my sister gave me one is hd high definition matte actually i tested it already yesterday and i tested it when my skin became you know through the day as you go along you wash your face in the morning or cleanse it whatever and then after you like kind of towards the evening you start noticing oily patches now unless you have really um like dry skin but uh, if you have normal to oily skin you would have oily here i normally have on my cheeks and then i have over here so when i used it yesterday how to open it first of all okay here we go there's a little sponge here i don't have any nails i probably should take care of them more but i never was a nail girl i don't paint i don't i don't do anything so yeah i applied it to the areas that was oily and it just got rid of it so it, it's good in that way i like to see that and I'm just gonna pat it small bit. I'm actually gonna pat it on the areas where I get most oil. I'm not even gonna go under the eyes with extra product, but whatever I have here, which is like not much at all. But just, cause sometimes if you notice, even on your eyelids, you get oil. Now I use primer, eyeshadow primer for this, but yeah that's like very small but it's quite matte on my forehead and then now it's my breath i brush my teeth and i can do this on my products 
<laughs> because they say don't blow and so, you know kind of do like this they say don't blow but it's my makeup <laughs> no one's using it so a small bit of this um go ahead around like that golden girl we are golden <laughs> okay then kind of want to go around jawline too just like whatever is left, just slather it everywhere. No one's, not, no one's gonna know. <laughs> they, they will know. How would they know? <laughs> I've seen so many TikTok videos on this. Next, what do we do next? We apply small bit bronzer. Oh, this one actually, it's LA Girl. If I didn't say that, it's LA Girl Pro Face HD High Definition Matte Press Powder. It's nude beige. But it's yellow we don't and this one is Catrice Sun Lover Glow Bronzing Powder. It's one of my favorite because look how cute it is. It's like it's like I don't know, sandy sunset. <laughs> I have this brush that my sister gave me, and I just go like on the cheeks and then that's it. Cheeks. Pew, pew, pew. Done. <laughs> okay, dokey. Next, we fix up the Spurs E Blues. So give it a brush. Kind of fill them up a bit. There's my other. Now, my right eyebrow is not. I don't know. It seems like it's a different shape. Not a different shape, but it's. Well, of course, eyebrows cannot be the same unless they are microbladed or fixed up professionally. But my eyebrows don't sing the same sometimes, but it's okay. So I don't do anything extra fancy. I just go ahead and I just color them in this way. Just. Oh, yeah, and this is Catrice as well. And brown. It's the name, yeah, it's a cool name. It's a brow, brown eye piece. Yeah, brown eye piece, I think it's called. Yeah, 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 because that's the one I used to always get. So I just go ahead like this, a little bit here, kind of few, few kind of strokes. Oh, my eyebrow hair fell out. <laughs> there we go. You know, I don't really do so much. Kind of just fill them in. Yeah, quite easy, simple, natural. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing um, extreme, you know. And then this one. Yes, I can use both hands. I'm ambidextrous. But normally I color with my left hand and I write with my right hand. So you see, I can still use like that. It's so weird. I have to kind of switch. Like if I want to use this outer, I use my left. And then I use right one to brush it and then right one to bring it here. It's kind of weird the way I do things like I would write with my right and I will draw with my left and then I kind of have to switch I don't know <laughs> okie dokie here we go is this looking good and it's good <laughs> okay so that will do brush it out to even out I don't want my eyebrows to be Super kind of different. That one looks darker. And it looks creepier. I don't know. It's just the way it is. One sec. Let me fix it up. I think it's okay. So I'm just going to brush it out. It looks darker from the shadow. From, yeah, from kind of light. And from this way, it kind of blends in like that. 
yeah it's not so dark and it's all right my face is right in your camera <laughs> so this is not super necessary but i still do it it's a lash brow designer shaping conditioner mascara it's just a clear gel now you might think it's not so clear it's kind of brownish it, the reason why it's brown is because it absorbs the eyebrow color pencil and the more times you use it it's going to change the clear mascara color but i mean you can change it as soon as it changes color you see when it's not so clear when it starts to get kind of misty but i mean you can still use it as well if you're really cautious about this then you can start changing it as soon as it changes color okay that that will do so the next step because i applied foundation and powder i want to give a bit of a pat to my eyelids like that just give a bit of a pat to remove excess product also this lip oil is nice as well i think i said it in one of my streams but i think a lot of people missed it for sure it's a primer oil. yes to miracle oil my sister gave me this one as well it's just an oil it's kind of like a um, pinkish tone but it doesn't give you like a pinkish tone if that makes sense but it's uh, it's a moisturizer nice moisturizer now have you noticed how uh how you can see more contoured lips that i have now after using that one and can you see that it became more pinkish it, it did yeah Yo. um this one is one of the best budget kind of budget budget it's like six euro something but i mean uh, uh, comparing to other eye primers which could cost more but this one is kind of like a if you want to buy in the pharmacy and stuff like that it's a magnify eyes eye primer i'm not so big on spending like shitloads money on makeup but i do like nice makeup and like uh, these kind of extra bits i would get you know or maybe something that's like super really cool and really nice kind of then i would kind of spend more but i mostly would kind of focus on like a skincare that i would pay more but this one is rimmel anyways and it stays for sure all day but what you want to do is you want to work fast if you do this don't leave it because it's going to leave a sticky line that the only way to fix it is to remove it with the oil because it it is kind of like hardening straight away so you want to work straight away so when you go pew, pew, go ahead straight away smudge it into your eyelid because you don't want to wait because i waited before and it left this like a yellowy line that you were not able to do anything and the only way how i had to get rid of it is to use eye makeup removal but then that would mess up my eyebrows and all that so it's kind of you want to work straight away just put on your eyelid kind of just focus in the middle i guess because you're not through the day as we have if you don't put eye primer and you go ahead with your eyeshadow it's going to give you that line you know crease line as it's called i think yeah so if you want it to kind of last if you only wear makeup let's say you need only for an hour maybe it's okay but even application of eyeshadow goes on much better normally if i want to have a darker makeup i would use this on my eyes so it's really it's like a eyeshadow only it's like a brown brown tone kind of like a sandy and this is the one that i normally use i'm gonna go from here because the light is shining but it's a gold one it's called it's gold gold is what you came for it's like a trace art collier eyeshadow <laughs> it's a goldish tone so i'm just gonna take a sip of my coffee
Hold on a second. Excellent. So we're gonna go with this now. So I'm gonna be applying this on my eyelid now. Any brush. Not no numbers, no name, nothing. Just brush. <laughs> And just go ahead and slather that gold eyeshadow on your eyelid. Just there. You can go higher to your brown, a brown brow bone, or just go ahead this way. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. And then on your other eye. And I show you something cool now in a second. Then check, make sure it's applied evenly enough i like to see make sure it's even on my eyes so i, I kind of go up to there we go up to here kind of rest the shad, shadow brush see that's my brow bone so i kind of just go plop, plop. and then same do with this eye there's my brow bone and i kind of go along like this and there we go. Now, you may notice, especially with gold, you can get away with it. With other shadows, you can't. But it drops. You know, the eyeshadow drops. Just go like this. And you have a highlighter. <laughs> Here we go. So, this device. Eyelash curler give it a little cleanse and I like to heat it up first so I kind of just you know squish the metal part with my fingers just kind of just even here I mean you wash your hands right <laughs> so the hands are washed so I don't know I kind of just warm it up because it usually gets cold usually if i sit in the bed and i'm wearing a robe or something i i use the put this in the robe and kind of just squish it so the robe kind of heat heats it up so if you're wondering why i'm always looking there is because i have a mirror over there so i can see myself <laughs> i i see a reflection of me that's why it's easy for i glance at you and i kind of glance at me so i can kind of figure out what is going on okay so let's do this this might be painful for someone because people don't like when something is getting poked into their eyeball so we just pop it like this and just make sure you don't squeeze your eyelid and just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and release and there you go. You you won't see it so much now, but you will see it when when I um how to say it apply mascara. <laughs> and then you go now I do know that sometimes my eyes kinda want to let go. They don't want this thing and so I kinda look like this. You probably noticed it in the first one I did. This one. And I just go like this. So it kinda helps me. So not I get Siri. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, E. Sometimes I need to ooh. Sometimes I need to go ahead and do a bit more. And kind of just I'm very kind of precise about this. I have always was. And I just kind of look and think okay this one can be done you know kind of like just looking and then like okay you know this one could get curl a bit more okay that's enough and then kind of go okay this one has to done to match the other one okay yeah all good you know kind of that way now and the lash that I like, normally I love Maybelline lashes, uh, mascara. I normally use the Colossal one, not the extra Colossal, or Col I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but the, one of the yellow ones. 
uh, there's two types. There's one with a bigger brush and one with a smaller. The one with the smaller is really, really, really good. But the Maybelline, uh, this one, the falsies, I used it the first time. And after that, that's the one that I always order now. So, eyelash. So let's go. You know how to apply eyelash. You just go pew, pew, pew in the corner. I usually apply two coats, but it depends. Sometimes one coat is okay. So I apply one coat, just kind of fix it up with that. And whatever left on the bottom. So just mascara. Now I did notice that I do. I, one sec. I have a little tweezers. There's an eyelash right over there. There. It's eyelash that fell, and I have to get rid of it. So here we are. There. It just always is still there. There. You know, sometimes your eyelash falls out, and and it gets in your eye. So here it is. I apply one coat, and then usually I, I go ahead and put another coat. But to apply second coat you really have to wait until it dries oh by the way this one is also waterproof i only wear waterproof mascara i've been always doing that same as that other co not colossal but uh, the maybelline the yellow one no colossal yeah colossal it just there's two types there's one with a bigger brush and one with a smaller i use with the smaller and it it's waterproof as well and they are good waterproof this one is good waterproof as well kind of sweat proof you know summertime is good especially you know summertime when it gets misty in the mornings like really foggy in the morning especially summertime we get that in the mornings then i i used to remember go to work and I used to go in the morning very early and you know, it's really misty and foggy. And then you just go. And by the time I kind of got to my destination, I had kind of like the, you know, black from mascara on my eyelids. So then I start wearing waterproof and I didn't have that. So since then I wear it. And I'm, it's hard to find waterproof mascara because a few mascaras I bought and they barely kind of colored the eyelashes they kind of it's kind of made them like super separating and stuff but this one like it's it's decent enough so it's like super creeping close right inside the camera but i just wanted to show you easy eyelashes <laughs> so this is it this so because let's see so the, I'm actually pretty happy with, with just one coat. I'm going to leave just one coat. I normally apply two coats if I want it to be more um, more colored and stuff like that, but it's fine the way it is. It's like quite natural. And it's the same. Let's see, make sure it's the same. My bottom eyelash is like this the same it's the same so this is it this is how i do it super simply and nothing nothing like ex oh wait the setting spray i forgot <laughs> oh they have two lids one and then big one goes here i don't know some kind of business so one i wasted in the air i don't know why and it says go so I go. And if you have a fan, you can do with your fan. I applied it. I, it's on my forehead, my cheeks. And I just go ahead with this. I have a few of them, actually. This one is just lying. It's uh, uh, put as decoration over there. There. on. <laughs> There. It's it's over there to 
where all my books and everything so and that's it and you see how super it just dries off i don't have to close it i have to put it back pretty much it this is how i would normally i have my sister bought me this vintage box because uh, i love kind of vintage cute stuff like that and yeah this is this is it how i do i mean if like i did it kind of slower normally i would just watch tv or like something on youtube i would watch some like documentaries or 90 day fiance bullshit <laughs> stuff like that i would just sit and just start applying makeup and it literally doesn't take long at all you know thank you for watching this video if you watched a little bit or just the start of it you actually won't see this then but if you watched just the end of it middle of it any of it or full of it then thank you very much even something kind of simple things that i do but uh, it's good to know that someone takes interest in watching them you know someone actually you know likes this shit <laughs> so yeah anyways i'm going to go now and if you stick by with this nonsense for so long i salute you